brothers and sisters in the Lord, I'm very thankful this morning to be together with you, sharing with you, though at homes. This morning, devotions for goodness of the Lord, and I praise my God so much. I am Reverend Justin Mutembei, serving with Kalimoni Parish, and I'm very grateful that God has given me a chance. I want to share with you on the theme, God's Shepherdship. And brothers and sisters, I want us to know that since times in memorial, men and women of God have been going through challenges in life, such as wars, floodings, outbreaks of diseases, and we can count them all. And this led to children of Israel share the words in Psalm 23, which we, we will read the words of Psalm 23, verses 1 to verses 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green patches. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Brothers and sisters, I want us to share about nine things that God does to our lives as we read through this Psalm 23, a reflection in Psalm 23. When we go through the first verse, we see the first act of God and love that God cares. And brothers and sisters, I want each one of us know that God cares for you. God cares for me. There is also a second thing that we can learn from this verse that God supplies. I shall not be in want. God supplies in our needs. And I know each one of us can testify of how God has walked with you, how God are supplied in your lives in wants, in your wants for his faithfulness. So uh, in verses 2, we can learn that God cares. As the psalmist say, he makes me lie down in green patches. God cares. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. In verses 3, we can learn that, that the fourth thing that God does in our life is that God cares. He restores our souls. And I know at times we are very down. At times we feel like we are not loved. At times we feel like we are not cared for, young and old. But yes, God restores our souls for he guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And here we can also learn that God guides his people. God 
guidance and surely we need to adhere to hearken to guidances that are given wherever in the institutions the guidance is that you can give yourself the guidance that you can give to your family the guidance that you can give to wherever and even at now there are guidances that we are given in this pandemic of covid 19 we need to adhere and god will continue blessing us and healing the land even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. And brothers and sisters, I want us to know that testings will come our ways. And from here we can learn that testings will come, but then we should not fear, for God walks with us. God walks with us. God is present with us for you are with me. You are Lord and your staff, they comfort me. God disciplines, and in the book of Proverbs, tunambiwa ya kwamba tusiachilie fimbo kwa watoto wetu, chauli discipline, na kukua kwa kwa wema, akuta patikana tukiweka iyo fimbo chini. Na hivyo hata nalo katika neno la Mungu la tuambia kama tutii kama tusikii nalo fimbo lake lafanya kazi ya kutulegesha lakini Mungu tulegesha kwa upendo so we will experience testing in our lives but our fear no evil even though testings may be very tough very bitter God walks with us. Remember again we said God walks with us. You are prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And here we understand that there is an aspect of God confirming how he loves, how he cares, how he tests and how he helps us overcome in prepare a table in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. God continues calling us in a service. Anoint us with oil over our heads and surely what of hope, the aspect of hope, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, brothers and sisters, we need to call each other and encourage each other in this hope and in this love, in this care. We remain in God's love. We serve this loving God, this caring God all the days of our life. For when we do this, yes, God promises us eternity. And again, I want to encourage each one of us that in our walks, we may find testings, we may find difficulties, we may find whatever we pass through, let us fear. Let us fear not, but wait upon the Lord. And God is so faithful that he cares for you. He cares for me. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for your love, for your care. That you are a good shepherd. Your shepherd shape with us. You walk with us. You have promised that you will hold us in your right and, and this is such a great love. We are humbled again this morning that Lord you will continue convicting your people in your spirit. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.